Hello, this is M4 Airsoft King, and uh, I'm doing a little tech tip of the day. It's how to remove your uh, M4 version 2 JG gearbox out of your JG body. First step you want to do is you want to take the optics off your gun. All right. Once you do that. Once you do that, you then want to flip it on the top like this. You want to uh, remove this stock. You simply just pull, push up, pull up on this thing. Slide all the way back, completely off the gun. Next, you get a uh, screw right there. All right, that's like an Allen key screw. You want to get your Allen key and simply remove that. Okay. Make sure you do not lose these these parts. They are important. I would highly recommend once you take it off to put your screw in there like that and screw it back on. Put it to the side. Next thing you want to do is take a Phillips screwdriver, okay, stick it in your buffer tube, and uh, there's a screw down there. You want to go ahead and remove that screw. Alright, you get the buffer tube. Next, you want to remove the bracket, then you want to flip it over. You want to, uh, there are two things right here. There are two uh, little bolts right here, this one here, and this one, and this one here. You're going to want to pop these off with some flat pointy thing object like this so uh, there you go pop them off take them both out okay then you want to lift up and pull off you take the bottom receiver that you have here Take the bottom receiver completely off. Okay. Now you're left with this. Now you're left with this thing. This is the powertrain of your gun. Um, you then want to take off. You then want to start going into the internals. There's a little mag button right here. You want to uh, get a little screwdriver and a uh, little, uh, little Allen key. Look how small that big puppy is. You'll have a screw like that. Then uh, this will fall out with the spring. Put the spring like that so you don't lose it. Next up. You have the gearbox holding pin. It is uh, right here. Right there. You want to push, pop this out. Don't lose this small piece. Alright, next. You then want to pull, put your gun in semi. Okay. And, uh, you want kind of want to rock the gearbox a little like this. Oh, one thing I did forget. Nope, I didn't. Then you want to uh, go ahead and start pulling the gearbox, seeing if you could get it. This shouldn't be hard at all. But me, I haven't worked on this gun for. Oh, one thing I forgot. Okay, you want to then take a screwdriver to remove your motor. 
like this. Okay, big screw. Then your little screw. I apologize, that was very unprofessional of me. I haven't worked on this gun for about four years. Once that is done, you simply want to give this a whack. This will spring off. You want to remove your motor. Next, you want to look in there. You have some screws. You want to remove them. You might want to have to grab a smaller screwdriver head. They're Phillips screws. Wow, I had them suckers pretty tight on there. Alright, then you want to remove the smaller one. Now once you do this, it will come off indeed. You want to go ahead and take that off. Now your gun is just kind of wobbling in there. So you want to then push forward and pull out. And then you have you took the body off. Now you have the gearbox already already out of your gun in only about seven minutes. So uh, you know I highly recommend taking precaution. I wouldn't advise you doing this on your own, even though it was easy as I did. I had some time in doing this and uh, I'm not responsible for any guns being broken. If you guys would like to leave any comments, ask me how to do things, I'll have more tech videos in the future. So uh, just keep watching, I'll post videos monthly. Adios.